What is up everybody, it is Clutch, welcome back to the channel. Today, I will be showing you guys 30 pro tips and tricks for canals. I did throw in a few bonus tips, so there are actually over 30 tips and tricks. However, I can guarantee no matter your skill level or knowledge of the map, that you're definitely going to learn something new today. You don't have to drop a like or subscribe if you don't want to. However, if you would like to support the channel and this type of content, that is a great way to do so. And of course, if you want more tips and tricks, you're definitely going to want to check out my channel because I have a ton of videos that are going to help you improve your game and help you achieve a high rank. But with all that being said, without further ado, let's jump on. Starting off with a great one, we have a cafe smoke. What you're gonna do is crouch and lodge yourself into this door like so. Next, you want to aim at this lower window like so, right in the middle, in between the crosses. Pull your crosshair straight up until you reach this bar of the window that is above it, and throw. A perfect smoke on Cafe. This allows you to push sight much more easily, much more safely. You don't have to worry as much about the Cafe camper. And overall, it's just a really great smoke to know and a very useful trick. If you don't want to get sniped from the underpass opper, consider jumping out instead of walking out or trying to beat him to the angle. If you are camping in the nook in CT spawn, keep in mind that the barrel of your weapon will be visible before your body, especially if you are using a sniper rifle. If you think someone is coming from CT, consider pointing your weapon at the ground or at the wall. And if you're trying to clear the angle, definitely keep an eye out for any stray barrels. If you manage to make it to mid without getting shot or killed, you can throw the smoke right here to completely deter the CT camper. What you're gonna do is lodge yourself into this door like so. Aim at the corner of the top window of the second row of apartments and jump throw. This will smoke off bridge and the smoke will also travel through the bridge underneath and allow you to block that underpass opera. Although the smoke is pretty dangerous and you do have to be pretty precise with it, if you do manage to pull it off, it is a great smoke. I have done it many times and it does in fact work. A really great smoke to know, especially in team play. A site lamp camp. If you want to throw off the opposing team, a great way to do so is with this angle like so. What you're going to do is jump up onto this box, jump across onto the lamp, and there you go. Really nice off angles, really unpredictable, and it's a great surprise to the enemy team. The two green walls near B site are wall bangable, however any angle you take will require you to shoot through two of them, which means you cannot wall bang through them. All trees on this map are wall bangable, with all the wall bangable weapons. Instead of walking down the stairs or jumping straight off the stairs, Consider jumping off to the left side so that the wall covers your feet because if you do jump off or walk down the stairs straight your feet are going to be visible before your gun which means you cannot shoot the opposing player which means they're going to get a lot of extra damage in and the chance of you getting that kill are very low. The red car in T-spawn is wall bangable with only the wall bangable weapons. Mid lamp camp. A really risky camp to pull off, plus the jump is kind of difficult. There is a barrier right here, so you kind of have to jump around the barrier. It's pretty difficult. Once you do it a couple times, you should be good. But yeah, kind of a good piece of information to know. I don't really know when you would use this, but uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. If you want to peek B-Long as a CT safely, you can do that by jumping up onto these dumpsters and jumping. Plus, you can wall bang these boxes so you can do extra damage or maybe even get a kill. If you are camping on a site in the nook, keep in mind that your weapon is visible if you are pointing it towards mid A. So if you think someone is pushing from elbow, consider looking at the ground or at the wall, that way your weapon is not visible. You can wall bang this black wall at cafe. 
you can wall bang all lamps on this map with only wall bangable weapons. Difficult A site lamp can. This is definitely one of the more difficult parkour spots on this map and definitely one of the most difficult parkour spots in general. What you're going to do is jump up onto this van and you're going to try to jump to the lamp. Not too many tips I can give you besides the footage I have provided. A really nice off angle, but it is very difficult to do. Pretty surprising, but you can jump up onto every plant on this map. You can wallbang every stair on this map with all the weapons that can wallbang. Anti-Nook Nade. This is a great grenade to deter any players that are camping in the Nook. What you're going to do is run up and lodge yourself in between this sign and railing. Next, you want to aim at the corner of this window like so. And throw. You can do this really fast in the round so it is pretty safe to pull off. And the reason this grenade is so good is because even if you are all the way in the nook pressed up against either wall, you will take splash damage from the nade. A really good nade to know, and it's a great way to deal extra damage to T's side. In T's spawn, you can jump up onto the van. Not only that, but you can also jump across onto this lamp. You get a pretty nice off angle, and it's very unexpected. If you're trying to jump peek CT spawn, instead of running all the way to the box and jump peeking, consider taking one step back. Even though this allows you to see less of CT, it's much safer, especially since a ton of players know to hold that angle because they know people like to jump check it. You can wall bang every plant on this map with any weapon. A really nice off angle you can take from cafe. I've gotten so many frags off this and almost no players check this for some reason. I don't know why, but it just works. If you're pushing from cafe and want to check B site, you can do that by jumping up next to this black wall. And if you're trying to see more of B site, you can do that by jumping onto this table and jumping. You can do this really quickly too and just swing peek out. So it's not too dangerous, but definitely keep that in mind. You can wall bang pretty much everything on a site. The trash bins at mid are wall bangable, however, do keep in mind the two wall rule with wall bangs. If you want to check CT, you can do that by jumping up onto the stairs like so and jumping. Or a much safer way to do it is jump onto the first box and jump. This provides more cover, allowing you to stay a lot safer and allows you to jiggle peek off the cover. You can wall bang pretty much everything on B site. However, the statue and the base of the statue are not wall bangable by any weapons. If you have a weapon that can wall bang, you can line up behind this box like so and just pre-fire the crap out of this angle. You can also do it from the other side, so definitely keep that in mind. But it's a great way to deter the camper or to kill the entry fraggers. You can wall bang this red car at mid. You can wall bang all dumpsters on this map However, do keep in mind the two wall rule for weapons that cannot wall bang. You can shoot through any part of this truck with any wall bangable weapon. However, any weapon that cannot wall bang normally can shoot through the blue tarp on the back. You can wall bang all railings on this map with all the wall bangable weapons. The red car at mid allows you to get a really nice wall bang from both sides. So if you are CT or T, definitely keep in mind that you can shoot through the red car and get a kill. A very situational tip, however, you can wall bang all the chairs and tables on this map. The only time you'll really need to know this is when you're downstairs cafe. There's nowhere else on this map you would really need to know this info unless you were upstairs sitting across from each other and you just started fighting. The wood and van are wall bangable in CT spawn, but make sure you keep in mind the two wall rule. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, you can hit that like button. That's a great way to let me know that you guys enjoyed this type of content and want to see more. 
In case you guys did not know, I stream on YouTube on my live stream channel. It is called Clutch Raindrop Live. You can check out the link in the description down below. And if you want to get notified of both my main channel and my live stream channel, you can join my Discord. The link will also be in the description down below. But unfortunately, that is all the time I have for you today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Later. Peace.